It's been a crazy couple weeks here in these United States of ours. Uh, the, the Justice Department released their report on the Ferguson police, uh, which is bad. It was, a, it was really some bad stuff. I mean, basically, the police department was acting like a shakedown operation. Uh, they were targeting black citizens. They were emailing racist jokes around the department. Um, a lot of people were really shocked by how racist the jokes were that these cops were emailing around. And, uh, I don't know, maybe those people don't have relatives who are cops? <laughs> maybe? You don't get that? Ah, oh, this is another, another board from uh, Cousin Jimmy the State Trooper. <laughs> Can't wait to read this one. <laughs> um, it's, it's, you know, it, it, there's a lot of people who try to say, you know, we live in a post-racial society, we've got a black president now, racism is pretty much over in the United States, and I, I feel like this report, you know, after reading this, it, there's, it's just absolutely unquestionable, we still have all these racial issues in America. But we live in this weird time where everyone understands consciously that it's bad to be racist. And, you know, no one will really come out and say anything racist. Uh, so it manifests in a lot of weird ways. Like, like I've noticed that, that white people really hate Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, yeah Kanye's an asshole, but, but, like, people that hate Kanye West, like, they hate him, you know, like, deep, deep hate, like, there's something going on there, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> we can't hate black people, but we can hate this motherfucker, yeah. come on, give us that. Uh, like, white people in 2015 hate Kanye West, like, white people in 1965 hated Martin Luther King. <laughs> it's that level. Last week, I, I told that joke, uh, someone said, well, wait a minute, did, did, did white people really hate Martin Luther King? I go, I, I don't know, I mean, I mean we shot him. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a pretty strong vote of no confidence to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Uh, but you talk to conservatives about this, and they, they just see like a completely different story. Like they're not even seeing the same thing that we see. Like when you talk to conservatives, this whole story about Ferguson and the police and the shooting is all about Al Sharpton. Like, is Al, that, that Al Sharpton, he's a racist. Because uh, every time a white cop shoots a black person, he gets all bent out of shape about it. Well, black drug dealers kill black people every day in Chicago, and Al Sharpton don't say a damn thing about it. He's a racist. Like, uh, okay, but, but we're not actually paying the drug dealers to kill black people. <laughs> I feel like that changes the context a little bit. Like, here's another difference I noticed. When a, black, when a drug dealer kills a black person, they go to jail! <laughs> Seems to me that changes, you know, the perspective on the whole thing. But, you know, who am I to say? Uh, you talk to these conservatives, and like I say, they, it's just Al Sharpton, Al Sharpton, Al Sharpton. Like, they seem to think that Al Sharpton is a really important political leader in America. And I think the only other person who believes that is Al Sharpton. <laughs> to everyone else, Al Sharpton is the answer to a question in Trivial Pursuit the 90s. <laughs> Uh, and, and they'll go on about, oh, those race baiters, and, uh, Al Sharpton, and Jesse Jackson, and Louis Farrakhan. What, uh, Louis Farrakhan? Why are you bringing him? I haven't even heard that name since the 90s. Yeah. He's like the smash mouth of black activists. 
<laughs> I, uh, I moved to LA from Georgia, from the South, and, and the South has a reputation of being very racist. And it's earned, no doubt. Uh, but I feel like LA is just as racist, but I don't know, it's a little different. Like in the South, racism is very simple, you know, it's very black and white. It literally, it's just black and white, that's all there is. Uh, in LA, you've got so many different kinds of people. Racism gets kind of confusing out uh, here. Like, like when we first moved out here, moving into our, our place, uh, I was talking to our landlady, little old lady. She had a persimmon tree in her yard, and she said, "Oh yeah, Orientals love them, <laughs> but uh, I won't let them pick them because those Orientals, if they fall, they'll be the first ones to sue you." Well, there is a lot going on in that state. <laughs> Those Orientals, they are some litigious, fruit-loving bastards. 